Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Dude from Ukraine. So I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a video on my top five tips and tricks I came up with for the new Nexus 7, the second generation of the Nexus 7 that just recently has been released. Now for number one, I chose security. Security is very important because you want to keep your tablet protected in case you lose it or in case you leave it somewhere and then people will try to access it. So it's a very important thing to do. Um, you can access that by going to all your apps, settings, scrolling down to the uh, personal section, then go to security. And then the first option here, you can click that. Currently I have the uh, pattern security password uh, selected, uh, but you can choose from all these different options. You can slide to unlock, face unlock, pattern, pin, and password. So there's a few different options you can choose from. I chose pattern, I thought that was a really cool one, but the one I'm gonna show you today is face unlock. Face unlock is really neat, we're gonna actually set it up right now. It pretty much unlocks your iPad with your face so nobody can ever access it. So we're gonna do like so. Gonna get off camera just a little bit. As you can see, it captured my face. We're gonna continue and then it's gonna ask you, for example, if face unlock doesn't work or something like that, how else can you unlock it? We'll choose pattern. We'll do the same one here, like so. Continue. We're gonna repeat the pattern, continue and uh, you're good to go. Now you hit OK, then you can exit. We're gonna close the tablet down. We're gonna open the tablet. And as you can see, it saw my face and I unlocked it. And if that fails, you can also uh, unlock it with the pattern if the camera fails for some reason. And now for number two, I chose multiple profiles. It's a, one of the new features that's been added to Android 4.3 and the new Nexus 7. You can do so by accessing all your apps here and then going to settings and then scrolling down until you find user under devices at the bottom. Once that shows up, as you can see, you already have a few different ones set up, but you, all you have to do is just hit add, like so. The first option here, it'll pretty much create a profile for say, say your girlfriend, brother, sister, mother, dad, or something like that. Um, so it'll create a profile for them. They have to have a Google account. They'll, it'll go through the setup just like uh, you, when you open your new Nexus 7, you're gonna go through that same setup and they're gonna have their own profile where they can have their own wallpapers, apps, and things like that. And then once it's set up, as you can see, I'm gonna show you in a second, uh, you're gonna have a few different profiles like that. All you have to do is just pick that profile here and it's gonna take you to their account. Now, when I unlock it here, uh, it's gonna ask me to go through the setup since I haven't went through the setup yet, but it's really easy and that's how you set it up. And it's a great way to keep uh, your personal space separate from other users on the tablet. Now for number three, I chose restrictor profiles. Now this is kind of like a parental controls. That's again, a new feature has been introduced in Android 4.3. I think it's an awesome feature, especially if you have kids and you wanna restrict them from certain content on the tablet, it's a great way to do so. All you have to do is go to settings, settings here and then go into users under devices here. Once you do that, um, as you can see, I already have one set up like that. Uh, you're gonna hit this option here, and you're not gonna hit the first option, but you're gonna hit the second, restrict your profiles. Now, this uh, will allow you to only let your kids, for example, access certain apps, certain things on the tablet, and then it keeps them um, away from certain uh, things. Now, as you can see here, there's a profile here. We're gonna hit the settings. And as you can see, you can go through a ton of different stuff like camera, certain games that I have on my tablet. See, uh, I can uh, allow the user to do and play Real Racing 2, for example, and then Temple Run's okay. Now I say Twitter. No, I don't want them to be on Twitter. I turn it off, so then that's the only thing they can do. As you can see, everything else is off. Now, let's say I want them to access Google+. Plus. I'll, I'll allow them to do so. I'm gonna show you what that does. We're gonna go back, choose their profile here. Um, once a, you unlock the tablet, as you can see, the tablet's pretty much blank, and they will only access the things you are allowing them to access. Now for number four, I chose screenshot. Now I'm a fairly new user to the Android operating system and the Android tablets in general, so I thought this would be a neat uh, quick tip to show you guys. Now, how you take a screenshot on the Nexus 7 is pretty easy. All you have to do is hold down the power button and the volume rocker, the portion that turns down the volume, like so together for a few seconds. And as you can see, the screen will flash. It'll take that screenshot. Now all you have to do is go back to your um, gallery and go to the screenshot folder. And as you can see, it took that screenshot. Now you can post a screenshot on the web or whatever you wanna do with it. And it's great if you found something on a web, say like a recipe or something like that, um, you can take a screenshot of it and have it so you don't have to like write it down.
For number five, I chose widgets. Now you can add widgets on your home screen, but you can also add widgets onto your lock screen as well. As you can see, I'm on, a, on the lock screen. I have not unlocked my tablet. All you have to do is scroll left. As you can see, I have a Google Now widget there. Scroll left one more time, you'll see the plus. Now you can add the widget like so. I'll have a password on my uh, tablet so that it'll ask you to unlock it. Um, let's say we wanted to add calendar. As you can see, we can add the calendar like so. Now on your lock screen, you will have a few different widgets um, that you really need and you want to access really quickly. And as a quick little bonus, um, if you want to quickly change your wallpapers on your tablet, all you have to do is just hold down anywhere on the empty space on your tablet, like so. An option will pop up like this. It will allow you to choose your photos from your gallery, uh, the live wallpapers, and then also wallpapers that are uh, came stock on your tablet. And you can do so really easily. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully these tips will help you out in using your tablet. Also check out my previous Nexus 7 tips and tricks. I chose 10 tips and tricks uh, that I came up with for the previous tablet, but you can also use those for this tablet as well. So hopefully this will help you out and let me know in the comments uh, if you have any questions or suggestions and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.